Hey, what's going on? I'm La Princess Demond, and in this video, we are going to do a water battle. It is between Alkaline 88 versus Essential Water. Let's go ahead and get these poured up. And this one has a little bit of a dip, but we're still gonna use it anyhow. This looks like it got dropped. <laughs> All right, we got Alkaline 88, which I believe is owned by Shaquille O'Neal. I think, I think Shaq owns this. So he's, he's been in a lot of commercials about it. So either he owns it or he has some take in it. And right here, we're going to put it up against Essential Water. It was a brand that a lot of people love when they are looking for an alkaline bottle of water. All right, we're gonna test this for three specific properties. The first one, is antioxidants, all right? And this one is the most important one. And the reason why is because we have all these things around us known as free radicals. They come in and they take electrons from our healthy cells. This creates oxidation and inflammation in the body, which ultimately leads to sickness and dis-ease, all right? So something, a beverage or food that is oxidizing is positively charged and creates rust. And once again, this sickness and dis-ease. A great example, this banana, this banana is starting to oxidize. It was good, and now it's starting to get ugly. An antioxidant is something that actually provides extra electrons to those cells, which reduces that inflammation, brings down that oxidation, and it's essentially the fountain of youth. It's how we stay looking young and healthy. And those are negatively charged. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use this ORP meter, and if, once again, if we get a positive number, it's oxidizing us, it's causing us more harm than good, if it's a negative number, it's an antioxidant. Here we go, let's see what we get with alkaline 88. And we are getting a positive 196. So that means this is oxidizing, right? It's still going up, yep, it's even going up further. So it's went over 200. Let's see what we get with essential water. When they're overachieving H2O. All right. So this one actually dropped a little bit. It's down to 175, 176, but they're still oxidizing. However, in this battle, <laughs> it looks like Essentia is less oxidizing than Alkaline 88. But once again, they're both doing us harm, right? So. Let's see if I have a water here that is actually antioxidizing. So if you're looking for one, this one will actually do the trick. We're gonna check it out in a minute. This is known as electrolyzed reduced water. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this over to the side, off screen. Let's see what we get as far as the ORP reading on here. As you see, oh my gosh, you see that dash? Check that dash we are getting a negative 770, okay? And that is very, very antioxidizing, right? So check that out. And if you're curious about if there is a water that has an antioxidant, there you go, there you have it. And it is that electrolyzed reduced water. So as far as our first test goes, we're gonna give it to Alkaline 88, just because it was, wait, 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 nope, sorry. We're gonna give it to Essentia because it was around 175, while this one actually hit over 200. Let's go ahead and take a look at that second test. All right, that second test is known as alkalinity. We want to assure that what we're drinking is actually slightly alkaline and not acidic, okay? Sickness and dis-ease thrives in an acidic environment, and so we want to assure the waters and beverages we're drinking actually are alkaline and neutralize the acidity that we're consuming day in and day out. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use these pH drops. We're gonna put them in the waters here. Now, if we see a red, or orange, or yellow, that means it's acidic and is actually causing us to eat the minerals and electrolytes that are in our body. However, if we see a blue, a purple, or dark purple, that means it is alkaline and is bringing balance to our body. Really quick, before I show you this pH, if you're curious about what this water is and how you can have it in the comfort of your home, feel free to check out the pinned link below this video or look in the description and click that link there, it'll take you directly to my class on how you can have this water in the comfort of your home. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, 
Actually, let's put a little bit more in here so we can see it. All right, so it looks like per just the initial standings, it looks like Alkaline 88 is not as strong as the Essentia, right? And then both of these look about even. So what we're gonna do now, because they're all showing Alkaline, is I wanna test it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this straw right here. I'm gonna blow into each of these and see what happens when it actually goes against some acidity, right? Because we're t consuming things all the time. And we wanna ensure that the water we're drinking, if it's gonna be alkaline, it's gonna actually neutralize that acidity that we're taking in. Let's start off with Alkaline 88. Oh man, oh, there you have it. That's the true color of Alkaline 88. <laughs> it shows up a yellow, which I believe is a six or a five on the chart. Let me know in the comments. Let's go and take a look at Essentia. All right, there you have it. Essentia is also yellow, right? So when we actually get down to it, they're both exactly the same. Really quick, we'll just check this one out to make sure, because um, it may just do the same thing. All right, so this one's not gonna change. The reason why is because both of these are chemically altered. They're adding chemicals to make these appear alkaline. Um, so there you have it, they're gonna change. All right, this one's not gonna change because there's no chemicals added. This is done electrically, all right? It's very different. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. As far as the pH goes, I wanna say these two are tied. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third and final test between alkaline 88 and essential water. All right, on to that third and final test. This one I like to call superior hydration, okay? And pretty much what we want is we want our water to actually be absorbed. We don't want it sitting in our stomach. Like if you do a big, big jug of this Alkaline 88 or the Essentia, you want it to actually go to work and actually start hydrating you at a cellular level. You don't want it to sit in your stomach and be like, oh, I can't do anything, I can't do anything. All right, so <laughs> this is just a visual representation of what could happen. So we're gonna use tea, we're gonna make tea. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this dehydrated tea bag, right? And we're gonna try to hydrate it. And if the water is actually small enough, it'll actually be able to pass through and make tea at a pretty quick rate, okay? So, I mean, eventually they can all do it, right? But the question is how, how long does it take, all right? Let's go ahead and check out Alkaline 88. All right, so let's see what we get here. All right, we're gonna give it a few bounces. And as you see, it does make something, right? But I don't think it's a lot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out Essentia. Put this right here. Look at that, it immediately starts making tea. It's pretty crazy, right? So between these two, the Essentia is gonna hydrate you or it's gonna actually get into your cells better. Uh, looks like the Alkaline 88 isn't going to do as well, but let's check it out one more time. 
There's a very good reason why this is happening. I'm gonna share it in a moment, but I just wanna see if Alkaline 88 could actually pull through. Uh, poured it too fast. Yeah, man, it's not, it's not hydrating nowhere near as great as essential water. Let's try it one more time. All right, yeah, it's just not doing as well as essential water. And the reason why essential water is doing well is because it's ionized. Which means, just like that electrolyzed reduced water I showed you earlier, it's smaller, shocked, right? It's a smaller water, smaller clusters of water, and that's why it's actually able to make tea much quicker, much better than the Alkaline 88. All right, so I'll put this here. Show Alkaline 88. There is the Essentia, right? So both of those do fairly well. Well, actually, Essentia is clearly the winner in this, right? And you can see it right now, just a little bit darker. I just want to see compared to this water here. Much darker, much darker than Essentia. Why is that? The reason why is because this is fresh. This is fresh water. The problem with Essentia and the reason why it's not a big strong candidate is back in that first test that we did. It's oxidizing. It's oxidizing, it's dead water. It's dead water that's in smaller clusters. That's pretty much it, all right? So there you have it. There's the test on these two waters, Alkaline 88 and Essentia. I'm trying not to drink this, all right? But really quick, let's do a quick recap. We tested these wires for three specific things. The first one was antioxidants, and we saw that they were both oxidizing us, which means they're creating sickness and dis-ease in the body, and ultimately leading to inflammation. So they're both not the best to drink, and that's the most important test of these three. However, if we had to pick one, Essentia would be the winner in that first round. The second round we tested for was alkalinity, because we want to show that what we're drinking neutralizes the cookies, the cakes, and the ice creams that we consume, right? And in this test, while they, while Essentia looked better, when we actually tested them with acidity, they both came out the same. So we're gonna call that a tie there. Last but not least, we tested it for superior hydration to see which one hydrates better. And Essentia hydrates you at a better cellular rate, the Alkaline 88. Unfortunately, it's not the best though, but between these two, it definitely hydrates you better. Sorry Shaq, Alkaline 88 is out, and the winner for this battle would be Essentia. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more content like this, click that subscribe button. Once again, if you want to learn more about how to get your hands on this water, check out what I got coming up for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink, the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below, access that masterclass, and I will see you there real soon.